Hey guys, welcome to day six of the reading rush. It is a little past noon, it's like 12 5, I think. And basically, I, I've been up for a few hours, but I haven't filmed, filmed anything. So, because I haven't read anything. <laughs> um, but that's gonna change now. But first, I'm gonna do today's, today's video challenge, which is, yep, Basically, you have two minutes to like spell out your name with books. And yeah, so you set a timer for two minutes and then you have to spell out your names, your names, your name with, with books. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm not gonna set this up. I'm just gonna like carry you guys around while I grab books. I'm only gonna do my nickname, which, my nickname, which is Jerry, because if I do Yuritsa, I'm gonna have to find a book with a Z and I don't have any books with a Z. So that's gonna be setting myself up for failures. So I'm only doing Jerry, so four letters. I would do a middle name, but I don't have one. And also a part of this is that you have to use the same color books. So yeah, okay, so I'm gonna, and I think I only have one book. That starts with a Y, yeah. So I think um, the color I'm gonna choose is black slash dark colors. So if I'm doing well, I may do my last name as well, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, so let's just get started. So Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Okay, now. Okay, so why? Let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one. A. Now I need R. Just gonna put this here. I think I'm gonna do. And then I, um, this is a difficult one. I, 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 mm. oh, I was gonna try to do my last name, but I don't think I have any books to start with an M. I do, but that's green. It's, oh. M, A, D, 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 D. Let's move over here. And the time is done. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit down on the floor and show you guys what I got. So I did technically accomplish my goal because I just wanted to do Y-A-R-I. Um, so I grabbed The Young Elites by Marie Lu for Y. Ignore the the for Y. Then A versus A. So then I grabbed It's All This Time for A. I think it still counts because it's like dark colors then for R I grabbed Renegades by Marissa Meyer this is I think it's, it's that some dark darker colors and blue I think it counts then for I I grabbed I've got your number by Sophie Kinsella and again black and blue then I was gonna try and do my last name only got the first two letters and I grabbed the the Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Um, black. Then I grabbed uh, A Number in the Ashes by Sabat Tahir. Black. But yeah. Okay. There we go. Jari. Y A R I. So that's my video challenge for today. I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to tell you guys what I have planned for today. Okay. I finally got all those books put away. So my plans for today is to continue reading on my iPad, um, Undercover Princess. 
And then when I'm doing other things that involve like, where I can be physically reading, I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook of Pinocchio. Hopefully I finish it today and Undercover Princess as well. And um, this was the video challenge for day four or five, <laughs> can't remember. But what was the video challenge the other day? But I think I'm gonna create like a little reading nook right here. And yeah, so I could just like sit down here and just read Undercover Princess. But that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna, I think it'll be fine. If I, I'm gonna do the little reading nook right now. I'm gonna do a time lapse of that. So you're not sitting here for like ever. Okay, so I have my little reading nook set up. This is the best I can do. I just threw a quilt on the floor and threw some pillows on the floor. Hopefully this is just a little bit comfy. I don't know. But I'm thirsty. I'm gonna grab my water. Got my, I wanted tea, but I'm hot now, so I'll do that when I'm not hot. Oh, let's grab my laptop as well. <laughs> laptop because I'm probably gonna put on an ASMR rooms video okay yeah so I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner and then start reading Okay, so I've made some prog progress on on the cover princess. I'm just updating my Goodreads now. You can't see anything; it's so bright. I'm just updating my Goodreads. The only reason I stopped reading, the only reason, only reason I okay, so I'm sixteen percent into on the cover princess now. So let me show you guys the cover, so you guys kind of know what I'm talking about when I'm saying on the cover princess. But yeah, it's by Connie Glenn, who is a booktuber. Not booktuber, YouTuber. <laughs> so that's the cover. I don't know if you could. Yeah, it's on the cover princess. So again, the only reason I stopped reading is because Carlani came over to drop off some books for me because I had this on my TBR and I'm planning on reading these two tomorrow because they're short and it's a manga. So I should be able to, like, even though I'm working tomorrow, I should be able to, like, read these um pretty quickly so what she brought over was sailor moon volume volume 11 it's so freaking bright there you go volume 11 and then volume 12 and then i'll be finished with the sailor moon manga which it's taken me a few years to get through but it's because i just keep bothering borrowing her copies and yeah so this is gonna be for the challenge of a book you meant to read last year which i had these two volumes on my when it was the reading which was known as booktubeathon for my booktubeathon tbr last year so i'll finally be getting to these so i'm just gonna add these to my book pile over here and yes yeah, so, um that's the update i have for now um I'm not gonna be filming again until like later. Hey guys so another update um i did the twitter sprint 
so for two hours and I finished Sailor Moon <laughs> Sailor Moon volume 11 so yeah I gave it five stars um, then after that I took a little break I watched one YouTube video my hair is a mess <laughs> I watched one YouTube video um, as like my break had a snack and then um, for a little under an hour I started reading A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemener so this is gonna be for the challenge of read a book with five or more words in the title so A Curse of Dark and Lonely six words but it's almost 11 p.m. And tomorrow's the last day of the readathon, and I work tomorrow. And I'm enjoying this six. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this whole book. So if anything, I can still count Escape from the Isle of the Lost for that challenge. So if I don't finish this, which most likely I won't, I'll still be able to get. I will still be able to get that badge because of Escape from the Isle of the Lost. So yeah. So that's what I've been doing now I'm so tired <laughs> like you don't even know uh, but I still need to to finish the um, read a book and then watch the movie adaptation so I'm gonna watch Beauty and the Beast live action now but I need to find a way to give myself some energy so I can um, watch the entire movie and then ho hopefully maybe as well at the word continue reading from here well like I don't know but like a little bit more so, yeah that's what's happening I'm a mess and I'm gonna set up the movie now and start watching it Okay guys, it's, it is 11.43 p.m. I'm just gonna end this vlog off right now. So for, this is the end of day six, second to last, second to last day of the reading rush. And yeah, I'm still watching Beauty and the Beast. I'm 41 minutes in. I still have, now we're in 27 hours, an hour and 27 hours, an hour and 27 minutes left. So I'm gonna watch this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to continue reading after I watch the movie because I'm kind of tired. So I'm probably just gonna watch the movie and go to sleep and then try to wake up at a decent hour and maybe read before I go to work and then I'll read. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out in the morning but this is the end of day six and i'll catch you guys tomorrow for the last and final day of the reading rush so bye